Hello everyone, Neon Jellypuff here and welcome back to the episode, another episode of Super Smash Bros. series Brawl Event Matches. In the last episode, I went on a very long rant about Smash Bros. Waluigi fanbase, Smash Bros. fanbase, yeah, but you know what? Let's get all the negativity out. By the way, if you're wondering, I wasn't actually mad. Don't worry, guys. I'm not that easily offended or mad by anything, you know? It was just a little rant, you know? It's something I wanted to get out there, even though I'm probably not the only one who um, has said that before anyway. But, you know, this episode is going to be a lot more positive. We're going to talk about Smash Ultimate wants and worries. So... Last episode, I was talking about characters that I really, really want, or not- Actually, no, I didn't really do that! Okay, let's talk about characters I really want in Smash- Like, me, personally, I want in Smash Brothers. Um, if you don't want these characters in Smash Brothers, um, please don't get offended. I mean, if you do, I'm gonna be honest with you, I really won't care. But, um, <laughs> I mean, not in that way, I'm just saying, like, if you get mad at me for saying a certain character, um, it's my opinion. Be respectful in the comments. And um, if, if there's a character that you want, again, by all means, tell me in the comments and I will read them all and I will, um, like, I'll, I'll reply. But then again, guys, I'm not saying anyone's really bad. I'm just saying respect, of, like, respect opinions by other people. But anyway, let's get out of the way. Um, characters I really want in Smash Bros. As for new movesets, not Echoes, I... Okay, so, um... Let's see, what the hell? Dark Link's actually pretty difficult. Oh, it's an HP battle, and no wonder there's no knockback. So, Tapu Koko from X and Y, not X and Y, Sun and Moon. Tapu Koko is a pretty cool character. Wouldn't mind seeing him in Smash Brothers. Again, um, let's see, Lycanroc is a pretty cool Pokemon. Wouldn't mind seeing him as well. Decidueye is probably a shoo-in. Although the leaks say not, but you know, it's it's a leak. It, it might be fake, so I'm not gonna believe anything until I until I actually see it. Mimikyu is another one that's pretty cool. Incineroar, one that I really want as well. Uh, let's see, what other Pokemon could make it in? If they're iconic enough. Sceptile's pretty cool idea. I like Sceptile. Um, let's see, who else? Maybe another Pokemon trainer with... Actually, you know what? It would be kind of cool if there's another Pokemon trainer from, from like, Sun, uh, from um, Sun and Moon. Like, say, he has Rowlet, Brioni, and um, Incineroar. Don't mind my pronunciations. I know it's, like, Bryon or something, but I prefer to call her Brioni because I think it's a cuter name. I came to find the Mario Bros. roots. What's this giant... I came to find the Mario Bros. roots. What's this giant stage? What... What do we do? Okay, so we're playing as Wario, and... Okay, then. So, yeah. But that's just Pokemon I want. Other characters I want? Dark Samus would be pretty cool. I know she might be an Echo, but I'd prefer if she were her own moveset, because she has potential to have her own moveset. But if she's an Echo, you know what? I'll, I'll be fine with that, because it's better than nothing, you know what I mean? Um, let's see, other characters I want that aren't already assist trophies. I don't know, has Tingle been, like... Has a Tingle been uh, deconfirmed? Because I kind of want Tingle in Smash Bros. 2 or Skull Kid. Pretty much any other Zelda character that isn't. Whoa. That isn't a variation of Link, Zelda, or Ganondorf. I want original characters like Skull Kid or, um. You know. Even Lana. Is that her name? Lana from Hyrule Warriors? Sia. Mmm. Sia. Yeah, I wouldn't mind having her in Smash. Oh, stop! Okay, but, um. Yeah! Bunch of characters I want. Let's see, let's talk about Mario characters. There aren't really a lot of Mario characters left that I would want, other than uh, Waluigi, but he's already deconfirmed, so I'm not gonna say Waluigi. Um, who else could work? I'm trying to think. Who else could work as a playable character? That's, I guess, important enough or could work. You know, honestly, I don't, I don't, I really don't know. Maybe Wart, but how effective would that be? Okay, we're fighting the Brawl newcomers now as any bun. Any, any bun, anyone. Oh, King Boo! I wouldn't mind seeing King Boo in Smash Brothers because I want more villains and King Boo, I feel like, is a good Mario villain to represent Luigi's Mansion. So I think King Boo would, would be cool. Same with PD Piranha, maybe. And, um, yeah. Okay, what character should I be now? I tried Jigglypuff, tried Luigi, so I'm not gonna pick those two. Uh, let's see. Hmm, should I try Wolf again, or should I try characters I haven't played as yet? Because I played as Wolf before. 
I've played as Toon Link once, I believe. Let's see. I want to get the new characters out of the way. I, I don't want to do any melee representatives. I want to do new characters. Pokemon Trainer? Hmm. Sn oh, sorry. Excuse me. Or how about this? Sonic? Let's do Sonic. I don't really play Sonic at all, but let's just... Let's try Sonic. So, um... Let's see. Characters that I want again. King K. Rule. Oh, yeah. Gino? Of course. I want King K. Rule and Gino. Captain Toad? I don't think Toad would be playable because he's already, like, really involved in Peach's moveset now. Which, you know what? I'm fine with because as long as he's more involved now, I like that. Let's see. Other characters. Metroid characters. We already have Ridley. I'm happy with that. F Zero? I'd like Black Shadow as a as an Echo. He'd be like a heavier Captain Falcon, kind of like what a Gandorf used to be. So I think Black Shadow would be pretty cool. Uh, Shadow the Hedgehog as an Echo for Sonic. I think if any third party character was going to get another rep, I think Sonic deserves it because he's been around the longest. Like he's been in three Smash Bros games now. Sure, Snake debuted in Brawl 2, but he's only been in two Smash Bros games being Brawl and Ultimate because he missed out on Smash 4, but Sonic was there for the entire ride, so I think Sonic deserves a another rep, even though I'd rather have Dr. Eggman slash Robotnik, because I love that guy, and I want more villains in Smash Brothers, but I don't think Eggman's gonna happen. I wish I would love it to happen, I don't think it's gonna happen. I think Shadow has a better shot, simply because he's similar to Sonic in, like, like he they're both hedgehogs. They're fast hedgehogs, who can spin dash, I assume. I play Shadow the Hedgehog, and he can kind of spin dash, but he charges. So, yeah, I think Shadow has the best chance. And oh, there goes Little Mac. And there goes Pit. Wait. Okay, let's see. Okay, no, no. Okay, um, let's see. What other characters could make the cut? Th so, uh, third party characters? I'd say Rayman. I really like Rayman. Wouldn't mind seeing him in Smash Brothers. Maybe Rabbid Peach as well, or any other Rabbids, the Mario ones, not the vanilla ones though, no, not vanilla ones. Um, let's see, anybody else? Louie as an Echo for Olimar, because I, because Louie's an asshole and I kind of want him in Smash Bros. because I want to beat him up. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, let's see, who else could be in Smash Bros.? Hades from Kid Icarus? Yes, Hades would be great. Krom is an echo for Ike, or or new move set doesn't matter. Uh, Bandana Waddle D, and maybe Prince Fluff. There's a bunch of characters. Nintendo is maybe an alternate skin for Ness, because like I would say Echo, but Nintendo's a bit too similar in design to Ness, so it might confuse people. So I think he'd be uh, better as an alternate skin, like how like Alf and the Koopalings and the gender swaps for certain characters work. Wait, what? Two Gardevoirs. Two Gardevoirs, okay. Okay, this is getting really difficult, actually. Um, Titty Dong, get out of here, please. Titty Dong. Mm, wait, yeah! Okay, there we go. Do. Oh! oh he, they're dead, no they're not. Wait, do I have to kill all three of the Pokemon? I hope not. I hope it's only one of the... Squirtle is strong against fire, so this won't do much to him. Can you switch to Ivysaur, please? Kind of hope I don't have to fight all three of them. That'd be uh, a bit too much. Yeah. So now that we've talked about characters I want, that's probably not all. That's, like, that's not all of them, but that's a lot of them. So now that I've talked about characters I want in Smash Brothers, let's talk about characters I really don't want in Smash Brothers. Like, there's a few characters I don't want anywhere near Smash Brothers. One of them's an assist trophy, and I'm glad it happened. A legendary boy's town, even one. Oh, okay, so this kill Ness is Lucas. There are some characters I literally do not want in Smash Brothers for one reason or another. The main one being, one of them was Daisy. I didn't really want her in Smash Brothers because I don't like Daisy, but now that she is, you know, I can't complain too much. She's an Echo. She's made to make the roster uh, bigger. I won't complain too much, but, um, there's another character I really don't want in Smash Brothers. One of them's an assist trophy being Crystal from Star Fox. I straight up did not want Crystal in Smash Brothers. I don't like Crystal at all. It's no real reason. I just don't like Crystal. That's really the only reason why I didn't want her in there. I just don't like Crystal. Um, I saved this. I just realized I saved him. 
Ooh, I got hit by a black van. Great. Um, let's see. Di Dixie Kong. No, I don't want Dixie Kong in Smash Brothers. A vanilla rabbit. Just a regular rabbit. No, don't want that. Uh, let's see who else I don't want in Super Smash Brothers. Uh, pretty much any Fire Emblem character that isn't Krom. <laughs> I'm sorry, but if there's gonna be any new FE character, it's it's gotta be Chrom. Like, why would you add anybody else other than Chrom? I think anything else would be kind of dumb, unless it's like a new FE Lord for the new Fire Emblem game. Oh, I forgot, Springman's a good character. I want Spring, like, I, I want Springman, but the suck book not wants. Um, let's see, Raichu. Some people want Raichu. I don't really see a purpose for him, so I'd say he's uh, better as an. A summon and not anything else. Oh wait, wait! Is my ally? Okay, he's my ally. Who else do I not want in Smash Brothers? Um, let's see. I, there aren't really a, a lot of like not wants in Smash Brothers, in my my opinion. I don't really hate a lot of characters. I just don't like uh, Dixie Kong or Crystal. Daisy's already in there, and you know what? I've accepted that by now. Um. Let's see. Oh! Mudkip. I know it's not gonna happen, but screw Mudkip. I hate Mudkip as a Pokemon, hate him as a character. I hate Mudkip's entire evolutionary line. No Mudkip. Uh, let's see. I'm pretty sure that's it. Get inside the safety before you. Okay, get, get the safety. Easy enough. So now that I've talked about pretty much everything. Wants and dislikes, dislocks, dislikes, you know, stuff like that. Let's talk about modes. So in Smash Bros. Ultimate, if you don't already know, which if you don't know how that, like, how are you alive? If you don't already know, um, one of the main things or the interesting things about Ultimate is that um, this is actually pretty difficult. I don't like this. Uh, I'm probably not gonna win. You know what? I'm not even gonna try with that event. I'm not. I'm not even gonna try. Hide the blue valve in the victory. Okay. So um, one of the interesting things is is the roster, right? How every single character is in it's in the game because I think it's a it's like Smash's 20th anniversary or something. So it's like a celebration of sorts, right? And I think that's really cool. But um, the roster is something I'm interesting in because or interested in because the Starting roster, right? Smash 4, there were only 12 unlockable characters from 3DS, and then in Wii U, there's only 8. Because they want to get you like in the game and have, have like every character pretty fast. They want you to uh, get in the game and, you know, start things. But in this game, your starting roster is only the original 12 fighters. Or it might be the original 8. They haven't really been clear about that. But it's either the original 8 or original 12. No one really knows for sure yet. But, um, yeah. I think that's pretty interesting because, you know, that's a lot of characters to unlock. That's like, what, 60? Like, so far, if we only start off with eight, that's 60 characters to unlock. What? Okay, whatever. That's 60 characters to unlock at the most if we, have, if we only have eight. Which means, and, and, and they said they're going to keep it interesting and fun and like unlock every character and the way Sakurai said it he said recruiting characters not unlocking like the way he said it he used an interesting word being recruiting characters you know so it makes me think well I'm not, I'm not saying oh a new story mode confirmed right I'm not saying that but I'm saying maybe some kind of adventure mode maybe story mode wow wow okay maybe story mode is confirmed maybe not or maybe he's gonna, he's gonna do some kind of adventure mode like a great cave Offensive mode, which I've heard on YouTube before, and I think that's a pretty cool idea. Um, there are a lot, like there's a lot of possibilities. Like, say for example, it could be like this. Like, uh, let's, let's say a great cave mode, right? You're in a giant open world like Smash Run, but there's like doors to find, right? Like you're on a quest, you're killing enemies, you're finding trophies and stuff. But, the, but like, say there's a door, like in subspace, right? You find that door, and all of a sudden, like say. It says, uh, play as- Whoa, did you see- Look at this! Did you see that? Okay, then! Say, for example, there's a door, right? And there's a Mario 
and Luigi logo on there. And it's, a, and it's like pretty much if you play as either Mario or Luigi, you open the door and then there's Dr. Mario. Or Wario, say there's a door with Samus on it. Ridley's behind that door. There's a door with, um, let's say, Princess Peach on it. Daisy's right there. Or Rosalina's right there. Like, that's what I assume they might do. So it's like you're constantly searching for characters and you're finding them and you need to do certain tasks to unlock them. Like, say, beat this level, kill a mini boss, and then you go find a door with Marth on it and behind it is Roy or Lucina or maybe both of them, you know? So I think it could be like that and that's a, I think it's a pretty cool idea. If it's like that, I'd be completely fine with that. I would let's play that for sure. And either way, no matter what it is, I'm going to let's play it because, you know, it's Smash Bros. series, I made to cover everything in Smash Bros. history, that that's what, the, like, this LP is for. I'm gonna cover everything there is to cover in Smash Bros. history, no matter how boring or fun it is. Except for Smash Run, can't do that, unfortunately, because I don't have a 3DS capture card. But, uh, yeah, I'm supposed to cover everything. This is what I want to do, what I chose to do. But, yeah. Or it could just be adventure mode, classic mode, fight certain enemies, or, I mean, uh, characters, you know. But... I'm hoping it's more fun than just that, you know? But you know what I'm really hoping for, though? Honestly, as no pun intended, taboo it is to want something like this, I want a story mode. Now, I know Sakurai said before he doesn't want story mode, but I think his reasoning is pretty dumb for not wanting story mode, because, like, he says the cutscenes that were, were, um, like, they were uh, put online, right? And I understand that spoilers are bad, but... If I didn't want to see any cutscenes, I wouldn't actively search for them on YouTube. But then again, there are some YouTube channels that put final bosses in their thumbnails, and it's super annoying. I'm not gonna name any names, but I'll leave an example on screen. Ready, go! Uh, yeah, that channel right there has a tendency to put final bosses in the middle of their thumbnails, and it's so stupid. That channel has spoiled a total of four final bosses for me before I even got my hands on the game itself. And I wasn't even trying to look for final bosses. It was recommended to me. And you know what? I really hate that channel. I don't mean to, Okay, you know what? No, never mind, never mind. Ignore what I'm saying. Ignore what I'm saying. I'm not trying to start anything bad. Ignore what I'm saying. <laughs> but yeah, I don't like those kind of channels, but that's not important here. His reasoning behind what? I'm supposed to turn every leaf red, aren't I? No? I'm supposed to turn all the leaves red, maybe? I... I can try it. This stage is so weird. Everyone hates it. I don't hate it, it's just weird. Wait. Is this how we... Um, guys? Oh! Sorry for that cut there, um, something happened with the video, like, it kind of glitched out on my screen and it was frozen, but I looked back on the recording and it was actually fine, so that's good. But, um, now we're gonna be fighting the secret uh, unlockable characters in the first Smash Bros. game, so, um, what character should I be? I want to show off more newcomers. Should be Wario? Ganondorf, maybe? Uh, King Didi? Let's see, what character should I be? Snake? I kinda- I'll go Snake. Let's go with the leopard ult, because that ult is really cool. I don't know why, I, I just like it a lot. I don't know where it's from. Ready? It's just cool. Leopard snake. I think it's cool. Let's go with that one. So we're... Excuse me. I gotta start from burping on video. It's disgusting. Okay, um, let's see. Luigi for assist trophy. Who's gonna be? Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. It's a, a, a Metal Gear guy. Okay, you want to... Want to hear something really funny? So when I was eight... This game came out, I was like eight years old. Oh, what the hell happened? Oh, I thought I fell, okay. So what happened is, um, when I was eight, that assist trophy there, I thought that he was, was it Freddy Cougar or Jason? I thought it was, no, it's, I thought he was Jason. Yeah, I saw him like, oh, that, that's Jason. They put Jason in his assist trophy because like he had the mask on. And like, yeah. Or no, it was Michael Myers I thought he was. I th no, no, it, it wasn't. It was the guy with the mask who had like a, like nails in or something like that. It was that guy. I thought he was him. And, uh, yeah. I know, I'm sorry, Jillybuff. 
I know I was a dumb kid, but I actually thought he was, and it's... I know, I know it's ridiculous to think that, but yeah, that happened, and yeah, I was a weird kid. I think we have time to do one more event, so let's stop on 30. Hey guys, this isn't kind of... Wait, what? Hey guys, is this some kind of joke? Isn't one, isn't one Sonic enough? Nope, I mean, yeah, I mean, what? No, yeah, maybe, I don't know, um, yeah, let's start. Ready, go! We have to kill 15 Sonics. Okay then. I wish Sonic had cooler alternate skins in Smash Brothers, but, um, you know, Sega, I guess they don't want Sonic to not be blue, if they want him to be different colors of blue for some reason. Kind of wish he had cooler alts. But he doesn't, and it sucks, yeah. But yeah, they want Sonic to stay blue at all times, you know, we could have, like, there are a lot of alts that can make him look like, re really cool, like, say, um, uh, let's see, red Sonic, like, no like, like, um, Knuckles color palette, shadow color palette, just tails, like, Amy, something like that, like, I want to see him have different colors, but no, they, they, they just, they just don't want it for some reason, and it's kind of dumb and sad. So, yeah, shorter episode, but it was a good episode. I enjoyed doing this. And, um, yeah, I'm going to end it off here. I thank you guys so much for watching this episode of almost a Paper Mario of Super Smash Brothers series event modes on Brawl. And question of the day, uh, let's see, um, let's do something. You know what? Since we're on the topic of color palettes, out of all the characters in Smash 4, I'm, I'm, I would say ultimate, but. You know, actually, you know what? In all the characters in Smash Bros. history or alts that we know of in Ultimate 2, what's your favorite alt? Like, what is your favorite character and favorite character alt? Like, for example, my favorite alt of all time in terms of, like, its reference, I really like the classic 8-bit Ridley alt where he's, like, a, like a really um, bright uh, purple and, like, radioactive green. I really, really like that alt. I'll put it on screen and what it's actually uh, based on. I really like this alt of Ridley, and I think I'm gonna main that Ridley. Um, another one, the crown alt, of course, and the shiny alt for Jigglypuff with the blue bow. Blue Mario, or the inverted colors. Um, I really like this color of pit. I'll put it on screen if I can find it. It's like a rainbowy, very pastel color. I really like that one too. And, um, uh, I don't, I don't know. Oh, Wedding Mario. What's, what, what's your number one favorite, though? My number one favorite is the classic 8-bit Ridley, where it's, like, bright purple and green. I really like that one. And, uh, yeah. So what's yours? I, I really want to know. And I will read the comments, and I will heart react. <laughs> this is not Facebook. And with that all said, I hope you all have a great day, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Super Smash Bros. series. See you later, guys.